Hi there, it's Patmos, and welcome to yet another episode of our Ostrif game. And if I'm correct, this is episode 10. And we've done quite a bit, but as you can see, it's also quite a boring town with all these big blocks of houses. Everything is looking quite the same. And we haven't put any work into, like, a little bit of detailing, making it look nice, etc. So I'm thinking about making this the last episode, for now at least. I'll keep this safe game, but this will just be the final episode of this series, and then I'll do a whole new series on a different map, of course, because I would like to play a different map. And we will also work on just the village looks, to make it look a bit more natural, more historical, I don't know. Anyway, try and look, make it look nicer. I mean, if you have City Hall, and then the chapel, and there's just the graves, that's just... It, well, it doesn't really feel good. I mean, people are walking over the graves, there's not anyone buried yet, but I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. So, that's the thing I want to put some work in, and yeah, I'll probably do that in, an, in another series. But this game is fun, since, well, we have quite a few chickens, and we have these farms doing their job, so let's play on a bit more. And then we'll just head over to a new series, on a different map, and... Well, the whole purpose of this series is, was basically just to show the game and to help people get started a bit. Because well, I've watched a few videos about this game and on the comments there's a lot of people telling, well, it's hard to get started, how do I get all my nine families in the house in time, what do I have to build? And I hope I showed you guys that it's possible to just Go ahead with the game, get the things you need, get everyone in a house in time before the first winter, build a farm during winter and then start working on food and getting immigrants, etc. It's all possible. And of course I'll just try and replicate that in the new series. So the goal of course will be to keep all nine families again. But for now, winter is coming and what should we do? Well, this looks good. We have a lot of stuff here. Hides, lime, bark, everything. Gathering the raw materials. Well, I do believe they have everything they need. Oh no, they need salt. Alright. So all we need to get is some salt. And then they can really start to work. Well, the maximum batch should be three. And then they can Make some leather. Oh, that'll be nice. Let's play, play speed 3. Let's get a few things going. They're working on a windmill. Because we have plenty of weed. So yeah, let's use those windmills to make sure we have enough flour. We do have that, but... The more we have, we might even be able to sell some, which is a good thing, so let's work on that. Probably should put a few more houses in line to be built, because that's always a good thing. More houses means more families. One, two, three. So, I've been reading the update about this game. If you have the game and you go to the game page on Steam and then you read the news, there's an update about this game. And they're working on making sure... Or, no, well, not really making sure, but they're working on the housing. Right now, you can just place the house, there'll be a fence around it, you can't really move it. And the new thing will be that you can just place the house and put a fence around it, etc. And you can move all that, so you can tell the house to be right in the left back corner of the yard or in front or whatever. And people can also use the the ground you give them with the house to do some private farming and sell stuff on the market, etc. Which will be really interesting. I wonder if that can be somewhat of a thing that will replace farms for a bit, especially in the beginning of the game because everyone can grow their own crops. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but 
I'm looking forward to that. And they're adding new buildings, etc. So that's really good. It's probably going to be like January or February before the update comes out. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope that'll be great. And I've also read an update from Foundation. They're working on uh, quite a few big things as well. Also coming in the first quarter of next year. So a lot of things to look forward to. I mean, look at this. Look at all the people walking around. It's like an anthill. It's looking really cool. Well, and we have 300 people, so... Oh, we need a church. All right. Oh, well, that's going to stop us. Because we don't have a church yet. Do we have stone? I don't even know if we have stone. Yeah, we have stone. All right, we can build a church. I want to build a church. That'll look nice. Where do we put it? Oh, probably somewhere here. Oh, yeah, let's build the church right here. Let's move it up. Yeah, let's build the church first. Houses later. We have a free house now and no one can come in, so... We'll do that later. Let's build this church. I want to see what it looks like. At least we'll do that in this episode. Oh, that'll be fun. It's one of the things I plan to do a little bit earlier on in the in the new series, because... It will be. It will look real nice if you get a church somewhere in the city center. So that's a thing. But right now, it will just be nice to actually get to see the church. There we go. Ooh, we have a messenger. Does it have any salt? No, no salt for sale. Right, then we don't really have to buy anything, I guess. So it's bye-bye. Now, I don't really know which of the other villages has salt. I guess we could just send a messenger to one of them. Oh, we'll do that. That's the cheapest one. Then we'll see. If we send a messenger, we might be able to get some salt so the tannery can start working. Which would be really nice. We'll see. We have plenty of stuff there, so that's good. Let's keep an eye on our cow sheds, because... Oh, we have a one-year-old bull there, and a six-year-old bull, all right. No new bulls here. There are any bulls for f that we have in excess, we can slaughter them, but we don't, so that's fine. It arrived in Balaika. Do they have salt? No, they have a lot of stuff, but no salt. Anything else we need? Well, let's get some iron, just to make sure we have it. All right, then we'll send a messenger to Dekachi then. See if they have some salt. I hope so. I want some salt, and I don't believe there's any production for salt yet, so we can't get our own. Yeah, there's none, so that's the thing. Hopefully they'll add that. Some way to extract salt. Well, it'll be interesting to see. I don't think... It's an easy way to do that, but yeah, hopefully we can. Alright, this is working very well because they don't have to travel too far with all the stuff, with all the wood. They do have to travel quite far for the nails, but that's okay. Still need to gather all the wood anyway. It'll be fun to watch the church. Oh, that guy is staying there for quite some time, but that's okay. Now let's see, oh, that bridge will be done quickly as well after the church... All jobs are filled everywhere, I believe. Yeah, no new buildings being built, so that's good. Keep your eyes out on that. Don't see any alerts over the houses, which is good. Nobody's struggling to get food or water, so that's a good thing. And these guys, well, they should be able to start building quite salt. Here we have salt, and that's not too expensive. What if we would just get 2,000 salt? Let's do so. And of course we can sell the charcoal, so that's a good deal. It's a really good deal, actually. Do we have some sunflower? No. Nothing to sell right here. Clothing, maybe? No, not really. Alright. Well, let's see. All they need is some extra wood. Oh, they only need stone for the foundation, I guess, because there's no other place where they need the stone. Which is interesting, stone foundation, that's a new thing. 
Oh, we can see the stones actually laying there, boxes with nails and the wood. That looks rather okay. Rather cool, actually, I have to say. You, know, you can see how much they use all the carts, which is interesting. That's why I'm glad I built carts all over town. That really works. They're really using all those carts. Alright, all resources are collected. There we go. The foundations are being laid for the church. Ah, they're really strong if they can carry walls like that. Alright, that's a lot of noise. I adjusted the sounds a bit because there are very few requests to have a little bit more game sounds. I hope it's not too loud. If it is, please just let me know. I'll adjust it, of course. And if you have any other feedback, always feel free to let me know. I don't mind. I mean, you can just tell all you want. I'm not guaranteeing that I do anything with it. I always try to do something, but sometimes I just disagree or... Someone's the only one saying that he wants a thing changed and others won't, so that's always a bit of a trade-off, but I'll will I'll always try to listen. Oh, this is a really cool building. I do wonder what's the meaning with this. This is probably where they sit for church and this is just an extra chamber, or does anyone live here in church, or... Oh, it looks nice. And it's a big church. It's getting really high. They really worked well on all the scaffolding. That's nice. It's a great building. There we go. That'll also mean we can get extra people inside. So, or in the village. So that's a good thing as well. There it comes. Oh, that's a big building. And I really like it. There's the roof. Church bell. Alright, what they're doing now? Oh, they're building the exterior. Or at least some parts of the exterior. Well, first time I'm building the church. So that'll be interesting. I have to say, if you take pictures like this, it's a really cool village. You can see all the people walking, all the things they're doing. Really nice. Wow, they have a lot of work to do on this church, but they're almost done. Then we can check out. Oh, yeah, there's roofing as well on the outside. Oh, interesting. Nice windows, although we didn't provide glass, but... Is that something for later on? Oh, I really like this building. It's really cool. We've completed it. All right, that's the church. Does it say? It allows citizens to fulfill their religious needs. Building at least one church is required to grow population. All right. Well, there's even some information, so that's good. And now we can grow our village again, which is even better. So, yeah, that looks kind of nice. So in the next in the next series, I was going to say next episode, but there probably won't be any. In the next series, I'll make Jack like a whole area with it and put benches in and probably a little graveyard, etc. So then we're going to really work on beautifications, etc. Which right now we aren't, but that's fine. Right, are they doing their job with the salt? Yes, they are. Do I have like much salt left? Oh yeah, all right, that's good. Doesn't need too much salt, so that's a good thing. Well, we have plenty of bark, plenty of lime, so that's all very good. Doesn't really say how much you need, I think. 24 hides, 3,000 bark out of 5,000, and... Alright. We'll see. It looks interesting. Our farms are working again, which is good, which also means that new cows would be born, so we can slaughter those bulls. And that'll provide us with new hides, which is good for the tannery. So that's a thing to keep in mind as well. Make sure you get the stuff for the tannery. Alright. And of course meat, which is very nice. 
just be a point where you have like 20 cows, and 19 cows and one bull, and all you produce is milk, but that's fine as well. I would really like to know what age a cow can be before they're likely to die, because before they're, they die, you probably want to butcher them. So if you know like they're getting about 8 years old, then you know that at around 7, you have to put them to slaughter and get new ones. So that'll be an interesting thing to watch. And I probably think the aim for the next series will be to get like 500 people living in our village or even more. So I'll really put some work into that. This is kind of a basic village. It's fun, but I think it'll be nicer if we put some real effort into it. Well, they're putting an effort in the bridge, unlocking these woodlands, which is nice if we needed wood. We don't. We have trees here trees there, so that's all fine. I don't think next time I'll be building these, because this just, this just... If we can just clear this whole area, we can use it to build stuff, and there's plenty of trees anyway on the map, so that's fine. Yeah, we need nothing from you. Bye-bye. So that's one of the things I've got out of this series. Don't get some extra trees too quickly. Just find a big forest and chop it all down. Why not? Oh, the wooden bridge is done. I really like the graphics. That's really cool. Now they can get to the other side. Now how are we doing food-wise? We have buckwheat, we have plenty of flour, we have plenty of wheat, we have plenty of potatoes. We're halfway through the year, so in a few months new harvest will come in. We even have plenty of chicken eggs and a few fish. So that's all looking good. Milk, however, well, we produce milk. Perhaps we can see here. Yeah, we have 40 milk at the moment, but, well, just not too much. So, well, I do believe in real life cows produce, like, amazing amounts of milk. So, perhaps that's a balancing thing to do, that they produce a little bit more milk. Not sure. I'll put a priest in church or something. That's interesting. Be a cool add-on to just you can get a priest or whatever. Of course, you have to pay him, but all right. New houses will come on. Sorry, I had to turn the sound off because I had a cough. What should be next? Well... We are creating... Tannery stuff now. So, leather. We should do something with that. Produce shoes from leather. So we should get a shoemaker. We just put it next to... This guy. After that house is done, I want to see a shoemaker. I want us to be able to make shoes. I don't think we have a shoemaker already. No, we don't. No, all right. That's good. Let's make some shoes. All right, last house is being built here, which is good. Now, one of the things I want to know, the building crew leaves from the town hall. So the further away we get, the longer they have to walk, the shorter time they will work. What happens if I just build another town hall? Can I, can I even build another town hall? I'm just going to try it. Yeah, you can only have one town hall. All right. So perhaps at some point we need to just destroy this and, and put it somewhere centered on the map. Because right now, if you look at this... If we need to build something here, it will take very long. So that's a thing to keep in mind. If you start your village, probably better to not be too close to the edges, but get a little bit more... Well, we are quite centered in the map, so that's a good thing. We did center it, if you look at this. But it's by accident, not on purpose. So yeah, let's 
keep an eye on that for a new series to make, place this a little bit in the middle of the map. So they will have good no, not too far to walk if you build it all the way here. And they have to walk quite far and that'll make them less efficient. Alright, this is done, so we'll have to put workers in there. Quite a few women looking for a job, but that's fine because the harvesting season is coming on. Now, we didn't do anything with seasonal hiring. I'm going to do that in the uh, next series because that's really good. That just means that some buildings, for instance the thatchery, you don't need four women all the time there. Oh, I probably did that already. No, I didn't. Alright, well, normally you would have four people there and off-season. So, for instance, like December, January, February, you just tell them to have two. And if you do that, that'll mean that in winter only two people will be working there, so they can do other stuff. Now, right now, this isn't too interesting, because in winter they won't do a thing. But you can also tell them, well, in March, when sowing season starts, in, I don't know, in August and September, when harvest is being done, that's off-season. That means that right now, two more women are available to work on the farms. Which is a good thing, because they need to harvest everything. So, that can be a thing to work on, and... I would like to use that in the uh, new series. It can make things a lot more efficient, because as you can see, we need a lot of workers. Oh well, this is going well. There are plenty of, ooh, plenty of workers going to the farms. Only this one is always late, but that's fine. Got the shoemaker. Now probably no one will... Oh, they are. Alright. Perfect. They did come in to work there. As you can see, we need a lot of people, but they're also harvesting quickly, so that's good. Now they do some work, and then they go home, because they have to walk... If someone's here, they have to walk all the way, then get to work, and probably take a rest rather quickly, because, well, let's click on someone. You can see right here, he's now taking a rest. And I'm not sure. Well, if you click on the building, that's probably better. As you can see, working on a field. I don't know if they... See? He is working on the field. Perhaps if some new one comes in. Let me find someone here. Yeah, here. Working on a field. Oh, it's not working yet. So they have to walk all the way. It's good to check these things. Yeah, now work time starts. All right. So work time doesn't start when they're not on the field. So that's a good thing to know. So even if they have to walk far, that's fine. They don't work for a shorter period of time. That's good to know. There's a lot of checking to be done in this these kind of games. There's not like a tutorial somewhere that you can just read. I don't know, a manual I have to say. That states all this stuff. Or at least I don't know about. And it's much more fun if you just think of things and then find them out on your own. I really like that. You just play a game and then you think, oh, what would this be like? And then you just try and figure it out or ask someone or whatever, have some interaction. That's also very nice. But yeah, I like that. And that's another thing I want to talk about for a little while. Is I'm planning on going back to Twitch and do some streaming there. Have some fun building towns. And... Um, also interacting with people, having a fun conversation. So what are your guys' thoughts on that? Should I go back to Twitch and do some streaming every now and then? It won't be that much, but I'll probably try and find one time a week that I can hold free to, to do some streaming, but I'm not sure yet. So please let me know if you would like to see me stream or not. I mean, if there's no one interested in watching, then I won't bother. Perhaps I would like to do that. So please let me know. Alright, things run well. New houses being built. We have plenty of people. Farms are getting the work done. I mean, this one's almost done. That one's going quite okay. New people come in here to harvest, so that's going good. This one is done, so alright. Big harvests came in. Almost 8,000 buckweed. 
That is a lot. Ten thousand potatoes. Alright, well, we did well. Well, I guess we'll end this episode right now. So I'll just go to a normal speed. Thank you very much for watching this episode, but also the whole series. I liked it a lot. Thanks everyone for commenting and telling me tips or, or giving me feedback. Very much appreciate it. And of course, a very warm welcome to all new subscribers. I'm at 172 right now, which is amazing. I really like that. I never thought I would reach 150 or even 100. So I'm just grateful for every one of you who did subscribe and support me in that way. Uh, if you want to support me in another way, please give this video a thumbs up. And of course, I hope to see you in another episode. Or maybe on Twitch, let me know. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.